am an adult. I am just like, I cannot wait to pass this season. You know, my bank account is going from this to zero. Actually, from zero to minus zero. It's chaotic. You know you are in Christmas season when you go to the shopping mall and you want to punch people in the face. It's just terrible. Everybody's crazy. Everybody's buying shop shopaholics all over you. You go to the shopping mall, you cannot park your car in Hagerstown. <laughs> We're talking about Hagerstown here, guys. We're talking about traffic in Hagerstown. You go to the outlets, traffic, season of Christmas, people are buying. Now, when you were kids, and maybe, maybe that was just me, but when you were a kid, how many of you, time for confession, okay, confession. How many of you knew where your parents were hiding the presents? Yeah, good, all right. How many of you actually found the present and played with it? Yeah. You found it? Never played with it? Now, this is for the rebels. How many of you found the presents, played with the presents, and broke it? <laughs> and then you didn't know what to do with the present. It's like, oh, no. Yeah. Do you remember the expectation? Do you remember the, the rush, the Christmas season, bringing that rush? can't wait for Christmas and for kids it probably looks like a long time they have to wait for a whole year but let me tell you something no matter no matter the wait or the agonizing expectation Christmas always comes and that's good news it doesn't matter the wait and the wait is a reality in the Bible. You're going to read about people waiting in the Bible. You have the theology of waiting. I say that sometimes we are in, in, in heaven's waiting room. We hate waiting. And maybe sometimes you, you think that you have been placed on heaven's waiting list. 